All right, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a lot of flashcards really quickly in a program called Anki. I use this for my Mandarin Chinese studies. If you're studying Mandarin, it'll work best for you. If you're studying a different language, you could still make it work, but you're gonna to have to modify a couple of these steps. As you can see though, I have a lot of different vocabulary cards, a lot of different categories. And to do that, I start with an inter a website called MDDG Online Dictionary. What this does, you can get any words throughout the day through reading or hearing and plug them in here. You can keep going all day long and it'll just keep giving you the definitions. So to uh, explain this, I've got a pre-selected list of vocab here, just 14 words, I think. And uh, the problem with this, though, is it's not compatible with Microsoft Excel. In order to get it compatible, we're going to click on this button here, look up all Chinese words in a text. And you can do that at the end of the day or whenever you're ready to put your words into Anki. So create a vocabulary list is selected. Make sure that's selected. Press go. And then to get this compatible with Excel, we need that list back there. So don't actually print it off, but act like you're going to. And then you just copy and paste the list that it gives you here. So I'm going to copy and paste that into my Excel document that I have for this. And it's going to look strange, but trust me here. So I like to paste it into the F column. I'll explain why in a second, but first we need to get the traditional characters for these. To do that, I like to use Google Translate. Pretty simple. You can click Chinese and have it uh, translate to Chinese traditional. And then we have the list of Chinese traditional here. So we can copy and paste those and put them into the E column. Again, sounds kind of strange, but I'll explain why because Anki only accepts two lines of text for every flashcard. And as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, which is not going to be compatible with Anki. So we have to combine the uh, characters and the definition with opinion in order to get that into Anki. To do that, we're going to have to do a function, which is going to be a little bit unfamiliar if, you're not, uh, if you don't have experience using the Excel functions. But I'll explain what I'm doing the best I can. So we use the equals to explain that we're doing a function. And then we use our first block here, which is F1. And then we press AND to tell Excel that we're going to add something to it. So we open quotes. I like to put space, open parentheses, close quotes, because that's our first, uh, first input there. And again, because we need to add the traditional. And then we can press AND again to add our close quotations. Again, putting those in parentheses. And then there we go. Now, if these were different, these are the same here, but they would be uh, different if there was a traditional form of that character. But like you can see, I just did there. I just dragged the bottom right corner all the way down and it'll apply that function for everything in uh, these rows here. So here's the traditional characters, here's the traditional characters. So our function was a success. All right, next thing we need to do is combine the pinion with the definition. So to do that, we just go to our B column, start off with equals G1 and I like to uh, separate this with a dash. And then our next column, which is going to be H. Whoops. I forgot to do something. All right, restart. Restart that one. So G <laughs> equals G1 and open quotes, space, dash, space, close quotations, and H1. I'll just type it so I don't make a mistake. And there it is. So if you missed any of those, Here's the first one, you can write it down or save it. And then the second one, you can write that one down or save it as well if you want to. And just as before, we can drag this all the way down and then we have a full list that is fully Anki compatible. All right, so that's the hard part. The hard part's over with. Now we just need to save it. When you go to save it though, make sure the file format is saved in this CSV UTF-8 format or else it will not be Anki compatible. Once that's saved though, I can replace that there because I'm doing this. Create a new deck for this. I'll just name it test. And then you import the file. So you go find it in your list here. I think I saved that as uh, test, I think, uh, yeah, test Anki.csv. As you can see, I made the mistake and saved it as an Excel document. Don't do that. Make sure it's a CSV. And choose what deck you want. I'll choose test. And then uh, this is a cool little tidbit here also. If you have this option, make sure you select ignore just in case you've accidentally put something in field number three. You don't want that in the card. 
And then it'll give you this list here. It'll give you a bunch of these and 14 notes were added, which you can see here in the test folder. And there they all are. You can go through here and study as many as you want for as long as you want. Okay, so now you've got it all into the Anki system, but I said I was gonna show you how to make a bunch of them really quick, so how do you do that? Well, if we delete our little pre-made vocab list here, you can see our functions are still over here. Now, if we're gonna get 200 or 300 a day, let's not do that many for this, but say about 45, we can drag these down like that, and it will just keep on applying this same function. So now we have a pre-made function a template, if you will, for our daily vocab. So now if we want to get more vocab, I can just, this is where I got the pre-selected words, I can just go all the way down as far as I want to. I'll just copy those, and I'll show you an example here. If I put these in, whoops, I forgot to do the most important step. All right, let me run through that again. All right, I copy those words, and then we do the important step, which we'll come back here for put them all into this format. All right, as you can see, we've got a lot more words here, but it'll be really easy because we've already got it pre-formatted in Excel. So just like that, we've got all the words for the day, up until 45, of course. And if you want the traditional characters, you just do that same thing, copy and paste this into Google Translate, I'll just run through the whole thing for you real quick. I'll do the first 45. So you can copy and paste it into Google Translate. And as you can see here, put that in there and they will automatically fill in. Whoops. Okay, I made a mistake a little bit, but when you're actually going through your vocab list, never mind, it filled up. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So now as you can see, it was really easy, super simple. Once you've got the pre-made format, you just go through every day at the end of the day, you uh, copy and paste from MDBG into here, and then copy and paste from here into Google Translate, Google Translate back to here, and then you've got the entire day's worth of words, and you can just plug it back into Anki. And as you can see here, I'll show you one more thing too. That, uh, th that list of words, it didn't go away. So we've still got the original 14 words. When we change the file in Excel, it doesn't change the file in Anki, which is a really great feature I like as well. So that just about does it. I'll try to leave links for everything that I mentioned in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And um, yeah, good luck with your studies. Have a good one.